Hello, this is about two months later and uh, we've uh, been replaced the hammers on this uh, Bluthness grand piano uh, with Renner hammers and uh, now we need to just regulate the action and get the hammers playing properly and tone them. Uh, the Bluthness, this is a, a different patent action it's called, the older Bluthness, different from the normal action on most pianos and uh, there's another video about that if you want to re look at it but uh, this L-shaped spring needs setting up properly and also these screws here I've just uh, actually de-adjusted these to get them uh, right because it's really important that, this, that we get it so there's no key play if, if, if it's too far up here then you get a key play there um, where if you press the key down you get you get some lost motion there sorry lost motion um, and if you press it to the other way the hammers will raise up on on the on there so there we go the hammers raising up too high so you need to get exactly the right spot where there's no lost motion and the hammers are sitting on the rail at the same time so having adjusted these screws that's above and below and um, to get them to the right height so that there's no lost motion in the key there's no uh, no slack at all in the key and also that the hammers are sitting on the rail then we can proceed to the next regulation now we need to regulate these. This is the, the set-off, which is kind of like in reverse to a normal set-off, which is at the front of the piano on most, most on roller action. But the, you might need to adjust this first, that's the bar. In fact, you'll save a lot of work if you adjust these, take this up to the right height, and then you'll just have to do fine adjustments on, on the uh, set-off here. Now if these screws are out of adjustment, then the hammer sets off far too early. Uh, so as I press the key down, the hammer only goes a short distance before it sets off. So when this is badly regulated, the hammer sets off far too a really long distance from the string. This is about, here we've got about um, over a centimetre too far away. So got, we regulate that. So it's a rough regulation by turning this upwards and then fine regulation by turning these individually. Now just to show you, it's over regulated now. So it, comes, it doesn't come off at all, hits the string. And now what you want is it so it comes off as late as possible but within a safety margin and then just comes off and, and then you get the best control because it will come off about there. Now it's just coming off but perhaps a bit too close for safety so I need to just uh, bring it down a shade more so that it will come off slightly earlier and you find that some of the others are not really coming off properly there. So now it's uh, got more margin of error. There we are. That's just about right. It's probably about um, three or four millimetres away. You won't get them incredibly close, but um, they're all okay now. now. Now they can be finely adjusted. A fine adjustment is done by turning here, but you'll need a very sm small slot. This, this, uh, this is a normal set-off and it's not got a small enough slot, so I need to find one a bit smaller than that. So now we fine regulated so that we... You can get really soft playing and the hammers will perform properly. Once this regulation is fixed, it'll stay. It's a very, very clever mechanism, the blue stone. It's a, When you know how to adjust it, it really works very well. And last of all, the regulation, we need to make sure these L-shaped springs perform properly. Um, we want them so that they almost lift the hammer off the rail, but not quite. Um, so that's ideal, where it's, if you lift the key up slightly, watch me lifting the key up, I lift the key up, and when I do lift the key, the hammer just tends to go upwards. You won't get quite the same as you do on a normal lever action, but you can get pretty close. And amazingly, these L-shaped springs will stay, and they won't lose their spring over 20, 30, 40 years. Uh, it's quite extraordinary how the metal doesn't, uh, doesn't uh, wear at all. Now, the best way of regulating these is to pull the spring backwards. You can also take it out and bend it upwards, but there's a tendency for it to break at this point. If you do that in the workshop, that might be fine. You can replace the spring. Uh, not with the piano string, by the way. It's a special tensile spring. Um, but other otherwise, um, it's, it's best to pull it backwards and then get it to the right amount. Let's have a look at some of these hammers. So they're just going up slightly. That's correct. And But coming back and sitting on the rail. You should be able to get them all pretty much 
accurate. The main problem might be if the hinges are varying in terms of their tightness. That might be a problem if you haven't changed all the hinges you might find that some of them vary a bit. So that's bending the L-shaped spring by pulling it backwards and then pushing it forwards to de-adjust it. It's, it's, it's quite a surprise that actually that will stay for the life of the piano as long as the spring's not broken. If it gets rusty it can break at this point so it'll be a bit careful with that. When we do the bass it's a bit harder because the ha hammers are heavier. As you can see this is uh, a bass E. Let's try the E again and press it down and what you're trying to do, when you lift your finger off the key, you're trying to release the back check. Let me show you there. So press it down. And what you're trying to do, hold, press it down and hold it down this time. And if I press the back check, there, the hammer goes up. See? And that's the idea. You're trying to release the key. So by pressing the key down and just releasing it a little bit, you're releasing the back check and allowing the hammer to, to go up. Try the next one, the, the D sharp. And we can see that that goes straight down. There's no kick in it. It goes straight down. Play the E again. Lift it up and there's a very slight upward movement first. There we are. And that's what you're trying to achieve. Now unless you've replaced the hinges here and uh, everything else is regulated well, you will get varying results. So for instance this one here is just right and this one kicks up beautifully. Um, and I think mainly it's it's related to, to how tight the hinges are um, and how things are weighted generally. So in summary, the regulation here, um, first of all we had to adjust these screws, make sure that there's no lost motion in the keys. Um, if possible, when you take the action apart, don't move this uh, underneath uh, screw because if you do, you're going to have real problems. So don't, don't move that nut. Um, there's three of them here. Uh, don't move them and then you get much less problems when you put it back together. In the same way, don't move the, the set-off one at the back. So don't move the one at the back either, you can see through there. Um, don't move that one, because if you do, you're going to get the same problem. Um, you need to have that the same height as it was before. Sorry, that wasn't the one. There we are. D don't move it if you can help it. Keep these ones, the underneath ones, exactly where they were. And then you, you obviously tighten up the top ones to get, get it to match. So. Uh, then, last, then after that we're adjusting the L spring and uh, trying to get it so that the, there's, it, it just slightly lifts the hammer when it's, when, it's, when it's checked, after you release the check and it lifts the hammer. It's not as easy as it sounds and the springs can vary and the hinges here can vary. So you're not going to get 100% results unless you do change all the hinges and that you generally sort of full reconditioning you should expect perfection. Uh, last of all, um, and always last of all, you do the back checks. The back check is, where, is this at the back here, which catches the hammer. And you want to do that last because it, it's ideal for the other regulation for it to be quite badly regulated. In other words, catching a bit far down. That is too far down, and that is higher up. Let's have a look at those again. And that's higher up, you see. Now that's where it should be, roughly. Catching near the top of the back check not too near the top, otherwise you can wear out the back check. If you look at the back check, if you, it's too near the top, it'll wear, it'll, uh, it'll, cre it'll tear it here. So I want to be nearer the top than this one. And you adjust the back check. Um, if, a, a quick adjustment is like, is by pushing it forwards. Um, that one, as you can see, is checking on the side. So as you're pushing it forwards, you can push it sideways as well, and get it in the right position. Let's have a look at that one now. And that's probably, a, that's about right, I think. Uh, Obviously you can get it more accurately than that, but it's, uh, you can keep on working until it's 100% absolutely lined up. Um, that's certainly, you would, pianists wouldn't notice the difference between that one and this one, but this one is too far down. You can sort of feel it in the, in the fingers as well. So now we've done the regulation, there's still a bit more of hammer regulation to do, but uh, let's uh, have a listen to the pitch of the piano. It's very slightly flat, that's a C, um, but not, not too flat. The problem with some blueseners is that um, the bass strings are very, very tight and there's a great danger of breaking those bass strings. So if you are going to pitch raise, um, really that's something you've got to think about. Breaking bass strings is a real problem. Uh, they're, very, they're, they're, they're almost at their breaking point when they're put on. Uh, in other words, the, the ratio uh, to the breaking point uh, means that they tend to break very easily. Um, now, the, the client was com uh, complaining about the previous tuning. Uh, let's have a listen to it. This is um, C to G. Let's listen to this one. That's a bit fast, possibly. And that's extremely fast. So he's quite right. 
It's unusual. Most tuners in the UK are, are pretty pretty good, but for some reason or other, that is totally out. That's really fast. That should be about seven. That slight progression. That should be um, around about eight, and that's almost uncountable. And that's very very slow. So definitely not not correct. We'll we'll put that right, and we'll tune the piano now. <laughs> 